I'm like on my forehead. y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a little review on a product i found on um uh, facebook kept popping up on my timeline so i decided to try it out it has nothing to do with hair it has to do with skin so what i found was this little machine it's multi-functional cleaning instrument basically it's supposed to be for your skin to remove pimples blackheads whiteheads and all that stuff so i wanted to try it out it has i looked for the name on it doesn't even have a name brand on it but i will link the i'll leave the link to the website down below in the description box so we don't unbox this and try it. I already opened it up and already so we're gonna see it together so back up so comes with a little sleeve and the instructions all on the back. I already read through the instructions so I already did everything in preparation for this. Comes with, comes with this open it up and there's the machine some little different nozzles and stuff and there's a uh, the charging plug over here along with a it's like a rubber band or something in it I don't not quite really sure about this stuff right here I really have to look at this all over it has the only instructions that came with this is on the back of this paper doesn't come with nothing else in the box unless i missed it nope there's nothing else in the box to even help you out knowing what everything is it doesn't even tell you which nozzle does what or anything on the back of here so I'm going to just try it out with the nozzle it has on it. it does, I don't even think it tells you how to take the nozzle off. Basically, you just take the little machine, which I'm going to use the one that it came with on, on it, which is this little thing. And the machine has different levels of uh, suction. It has three dots right here like three separate dots I think the one over here is the lowest setting and it goes up to a higher setting which you'll see once I turn it on so the lower setting is over here then it goes up and it goes up another notch so the suction gets a little harder on each So each one so and you have to hold the power button to turn it off so we are I'm gonna go ahead and try this out see if it does anything especially right up in here is where I got a lot of little blackheads of it it's like literally sitting right here in my nose so we'll see if we can get those I'm gonna test this out maybe I tried all over my face and we'll see if I get anything at all. We're gonna try with what's on it. I'm gonna have to go online and really look at this all over again because this thing comes with no type of real instructions. Don't say jack about any of these little novels, so I have to give it a thumbs down for that. But we will see if it does anything on my face, even if it sucks out these little black kids or not. So, let's see. I'm going to start on my forehead. I already tested it out on my 
skin so it's a little painful but not that bad so let's see it's not painful painful it's like a suction but you have to move it as it sucks so let's see i'm starting on level one because the girl ain't trying to be hurting so let's go looking in the mirror maybe i should look at the screen Ow. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Oh my god. Look at that pimple right there. That is something. Now I'm a little scared. Cause that popped out a little bit. We're gonna try it again. suction is kind of tight but then if you see in here I don't know if you can see it but let me turn it down more but I see it's a little dot right up in here okay but it's a little dot right up in here of blood so now I'm a little nervous about it I might have just jacked up my skin some right there I'm not gonna do it on my forehead again I'm gonna do it right here and that's gonna be the end of this because a girl's not trying to I'm so nervous about this now oh god look at that it's crazy red and then I couldn't see these at first now I can really see it oh my god it's like I almost got a hickey on my forehead it said it sucked out the white stuff because it's not as white as it's not really white but oh my god it's so red now yeah oh. yeah i'm so not wanting to try this anymore it said it may be red if they try it out on your hand first, which I did, and I have no type of red up here. Hopefully, this like disappears. Cause, oh my god, I'm having red. I have a red line on my forehead right now. I'm not happy with that. So please, it'll go away. It looks so much worse in the camera than the in person, but it's not cute either in person. Oh no, it looks kind of bad in person too. Y'all, I'm so glad I have nowhere to go today other than to pick up my son. Cause <laughs> it had so many good reviews, but a uh, girl, I don't know about this. I'm gonna try it on the nose. I'm gonna sacrifice and try my nose. Hopefully, it doesn't leave that crazy red. <sighs> I'm so nervous right now. I am so nervous right now. Okay. Okay. Mm. Please don't leave me a red line. Oh my god, this burns right here. It's like burnt. Nothing. Has a little bit of white stuff in there. Just can't really see it. It's nothing. Okay, I'm gonna try the smaller nozzle on my nose. Yeah. And that this came with zero instructions. 
I don't know if I'm gonna be taking this off right. So, that's the other thing. I don't know how to take this off. Okay, so I'm about to look up the website for this and see if I can figure this out some more and come back. Because <laughs> it's not in the website on the back of here. But I wrote it down somewhere. So we, oh my gosh. Okay, they left something in my email so I'm just pull it up on my email because this but let's get back to this website and see if I find anything telling me on how to remove the dag on heads I paid $40 for this so kind of disappointed because of my dag on forehead oh my god I have to wear my beanie like this. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, no. Why? Why? Yo. A red line. But I still don't see how to remove the daggone head. Maybe you just pull it. I'm about to see. just pull it. If I break it, I guess it's a broken thing. Because it's not telling me anything. I'm about to pull this apart. See if it's just a pull thing. It's not a pull thing because I am pulling and getting one. It's a cool thing and I just dropped something. Oh. Okay, I found it. Okay. So you just pull it off. It has a little cotton thing in there. Which is these little things and the rubber bands. This right here. So I guess these rubber bands keep the little head on. And the little cotton thing keeps the dirt from going in the inside. We try this little head, which they say is good for hard, re hard to reach areas, which I'm gonna try it on my nose. Okay, we're gonna try it. Level one, because a girl ain't trying to go no harder than that. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up a notch. Don't suck up my foot. <laughs> Broke the handle on my own thing. Trying to adjust y'all. That's funny. Y'all can see it now, kind of. Hey, why did I see it in the camera a few seconds ago? Now I can't see. That little white stuff that's right there. That's what came out so far. Let me see. I'm going to clean off my nose and stuff in a few minutes and see if I still see the little black head sitting right here. Okay, did it do anything, y'all? Okay, it actually does work. So, I guess you just really need to find the nozzle that's not going to do that to you. Because this 
it's not cute. I I would say if you have sensitive skin, don't get it because you're gonna end up looking like this. Good. My boots a little hurt about this line on my forehead. I wanna cry. I'm gonna cry. It yeah, ain't cute. I have a line on my forehead. Anyways, y'all, so my overall review of this little machine. Look here, I would say it works because it worked on my nose, but I'm not trying anywhere else right now because I'm scared I'm gonna have that. <sighs> we show I, my my judgment basically. Oh, uh, yeah, because. About to go ahead and do the rest of my skincare routine, which I will link above so y'all can see what I did because I already recorded that video before in, in the past. So y'all can watch that. So, okay, y'all. So it's like four days later after I did the whole machine thing and. I'm left with this mark right here. The line is pretty much faded. It's still a small line still there. You see it a little bit. Just a little bit. So, But it's pretty much left me a sore. It sucked out the stuff and now it's like a sore sitting there. So I don't know if I'm going to be using the machine again. I might use it just on my nose because it did kind of work there. I Later on, I went and looked and I st still saw a few um, blackheads right here. But it did pull out a lot of them. So I might still try it on my nose. But that's probably the only part of my face I use it on. Because I'm not trying to have hickeys on my face. Cause that's kind of what it looked like a nice little red line and you can still see some of the line there it's just faint now it's not as red as it was and this is a whole four days later so oh man back up i can see it even more okay on camera it looks worse than it is in person but you can see that line and it's not cute at all but I'm just dealing with it I'm in the middle of a breakout also so I have to do my skin care routine get it together stick to this thing because this is not cute but anyways y'all I'll see y'all in the next video so bye